Well, the government is tightening the regulation of private ships traversing Bahamian waters. Transport Minister the Honorable Renwood Wells told Parliament during his contribution to the 2020-2021 budget today that new legislation will monitor their stay, exit and entry. Mr. Speaker, I am pleased to report that the efforts are underway to automate services provided by the Port Department. Inclusive of licenses and permits for foreign yacht charters. The Port Department is collaborating with the Ministry of Finance, the Department of Transformation and Digitization, the Department of Marine Resource, and the Bahamas Customs Department to bring an appropriate online solution, the end to which is very, very near. We will pass legislation in this place to assist, to insist that all vessels AIS system transponders is on at all times in our territorial waters, and that all vessels leaving the Bahamas must check into port, check into a port of entry on exiting the country. Currently, Mr. Speaker, vessels are not required to check with border control agencies when exiting the country. They are only required to check with border control agencies when entering the country and not when exiting the country. Again. Meantime, the Road Traffic Department is driving toward an online system that makes license application an efficient online process. Minister Wells also said that he's looking forward to a more efficient process for the government and drivers and to ensure that drivers are prepared to take to the streets. At the online driver's licensing renewal service offered to behemoths living abroad is working extremely well. Once the necessary documents are advanced to the Bahamas' embassy or consulate offices abroad. Mr. Speaker, the local online renewal process is also in its initial stages and with adequate manpower and the necessary technology, technological infrastructure, it can be an efficient and effective method in advancing the road traffic department services. It is important to note that the process towards online renewal and licensing of vehicles is in the planning stages and will be implemented shortly during this upcoming fiscal year.